Hello guys, welcome to Vijay Mejika. Today we will see how to use Matte Paint in New. So let's start. I hope you have seen my previous video. If not, please go and watch it. So let's start. Here I have some images which we are going to use. Here, these all are separated, so we have to place this back to back so we can see a complete image. Let's import this first, select all, and drag them. Then again, select all, press L to line them up. Check your project setting first, go here and Make it one. Press S to view project setting. Click here HD 1080. It's fine. These images press one so it will connect this to Weaver node. Okay. These all are set to 180 to 1920. Okay. So we will add project 3D node to make it 3D. The image will get into the 3D viewport for that it is used project 3D. Please ignore the background noise. So we have to do this to all these images. I have added project 3 node to all images. Then we will need card node to attach the image to a card. Select all place L. This is really easy way to line them up. Okay, then we will add card node to each of them. I am pressing tab then it is automatically getting my previous text so I just press enter to add it okay. select all yes, I'll bring them up here Then we will need a camera, a scene, and a scale and render node. For that, press tab. First, we will add scene node. Yeah. Then we will add camera node. Then we need scale and render node. A scan line render everything in 3d you need a render renderer in every 3d software here it is scan line render so first we will create cam to camera this turn object to the scene and then look yeah then we will all add all these card nodes to scene. Let's attach them. Here we get automatically the 3D viewport. If you want to switch back to camera view, press tab. So it will show you camera. You will press again tab. So it will get to 3D. We need to turn on auto alpha, double click on this. Turn on auto alpha of all these images. So first here, if I press one and view it and then press 
double click and turn on auto alpha okay all images okay then we need to set up those images accordingly to access the viewport 3d press middle mouse to pan the view control left click to rotate the view okay select double click on camera move it little bit slide okay we are saying something let's first watch and analyze these images this will be our background this is small mountain this must this is our foreground so let's take this first double click on card you will see here arrows to move this card now here problem is our card is of limited size so our image is not visible here so increase so scale the card size to vivid from here uniform scale by double click on card and then from here increase the scale so you can see the image here so this is our foreground then comes the let's see let's see let's add tree double click here bring it front so tree is not visible because of our card is not that much size so if we if we increase it we can see our tree then this one can double click here move it little bit forward so we will also scale this one okay i hope you all are getting it then we will move our background okay this is our move it side scale it this is small mountain place it here and this is another background scale it again okay this is mountain one scale it also so let's see what we are getting i think we need to move the camera side so let's split this panel to split it go here top corner click here split horizontal you will get another panel here go here windows and then add another new configure it will get here just click it and drag it here and press tab here now connect this viewer to also to our calendar so we will see what our camera is looking what we are getting with our camera double click here move it side set it and this is all about matte painting we are getting foreground the statues background placed at the cap between them so we will get the effect of matte painting here okay, let's animate the camera now or set the scene here let's go to one frame go to project settings first make see where is the okay yeah make the frame range accordingly to i am making it to 40 so at one double click on camera here here is the translate values of camera click here and here set key so it will set key at the position of our camera then go to the last frame here from here this one okay it will snap to 200 and then 
just drag your camera where you are as you are need I am making it here and it will set automatically the key to this translate value and if we go on the first view let's maximize this panel to maximize it press space one okay now let's play our animation it will take some time to render i have made two tutorials i think on new before please go and watch it that is about camera tracking removing shadow of a character also adding elements to the scene that is so much fun so go and please watch it and if you are new please subscribe and like The, our next tutorial will be of this one environment in blender i am going to make a tutorial on this one how we will get this result here yeah, are some test renders so please subscribe and press that notification bell icon to keep update Okay, this is so nice one this is a lot of fun coming so please subscribe the channel and please do a like and if possible leave a comment also okay here is the result let's see what it looks like Okay, it's excellent trailer. I hope you have liked the video. If you have any problem, please comment down. So thank you guys. This is for today. Thank you.